Hey guys, this is going to be a mini review of sorts for the iRobot Roomba 690. So this is a robot vacuum, part of the famous Roomba series. Um, I'm sure you know people are into robot vacuums. They have heard of this brand, um, and I got this a few years ago, right? Um, because uh, I just, you know, I'm interested in technology and stuff. So of course, I want to have a robot vacuum to help clean the house and everything. And since I'm just moving out from my old apartment now. Um, I thought this might be a, a good time to do a review of this thing. I've always actually wanted to do a review of this thing, um, but just didn't have the time and uh, and I wanted to show it in action, right? And my, my place was always like way too messy to really, uh, to really show this thing in action. Um, so yeah, now that I'm moving out, I want to take the opportunity uh, just to do one last video before I leave this place um, and show you guys the iRobot Roomba 690 in action. Uh, so first of all a bit about this device. So This device costs about 375 US dollars MSRP. I got this for $150 um, Used because it's sort of an older model now. It's an older generation model and it wasn't really top of the line to begin with uh, As you can see it's it's been used a lot, right? It's definitely dirty and stuff. So uh, <laughs> Please um, don't pay attention to that. I just want to show you guys the capabilities of this device um, so yeah, it's very easy to use. Uh, pretty much you just press this clean button and it'll just automatically go off and uh, try to clean your room. And if it bumps into any obstacles, it'll try to reverse course and try to like go another direction. Um, those of you who have used robot vacuums know what I'm talking about. But if you do have a part of the house that you don't want the Roomba to go to, um, you can always use this kind of sensor here. This is kind of like a virtual wall. That's what uh, Roomba calls it. Um, and yeah, by default, the Roomba will just go everywhere uh, it sees. But um, if you do want to have a place that you don't want to go to, you don't want it to go to, then you just put this virtual wall there, and then it won't go there anymore. So I haven't had to use this yet. That's why it's still packaged. But uh, it's cool that they give you this option. So if you do have something you don't want the ro the Roomba to go near, you can always use that. Um, yeah, by default, it will take a bit of time. Um, I have to. I have to say that uh, the robot vacuum, it takes like generally around like two hours, I would say, to clean this uh, studio apartment. Um, so it's generally a bit slower than if you do a vacuum yourself. If you vacuum yourself, it's, it wouldn't take two hours, right? So if you do use a robot vacuum, it has to be very thorough. It has to go through every inch of space that it maps. Like It does like a map of the, uh, the floor and everything. It has to go through every space, right? So that's why it takes uh, quite a bit more time than if you do to, to like manual vacuuming. But on the flip side, you don't have to do any man manual vacuuming, right? You can just have it automated with the robot. So there's pros and cons to it. It does take longer, but the flip side is you don't have to manually vacuum. Um, so yeah. Uh, what else did it come with? It came with this little cleaning tool as well to clean the brushes. And uh, yeah, I would say it's relatively easy to use because you just press the one button and it'll just do it. But you can always, um, you can always kind of customize it. So you can set like a schedule. Uh, you can schedule a clean and everything. There's a lot of advanced functions I don't really use. I just tend to, um, I tend to just like, whenever I want to clean, I just, you know, press clean and I don't really schedule much. Uh, but yeah. So let's see, uh, this is the charger. It'll actually automatically go to the charger once it's done. So it's actually a lot smarter than a lot of the uh, consumer robots I've used, like the Vector that I've used, uh, did a review on recently. Like it didn't even know how to go home really. Uh, so the Roomba can already do that and it's, it's been able to do that for a while now. So they have this technology down and in my experience it works pretty well. It just goes back to the, the charging dock. Um, so then if you look at this thing, it's basically just like a round shape. Uh, so those of you who know about robot vacuums can already tell this is a very familiar shape for, uh, for robot vacuums. They just tend to be these little round shapes um, with wheels basically. And Roomba really, iRobot is the, the brand really that, that started the complete like robot vacuum stuff. There's other robot vacuums now but iRobot really is one of the pioneers of that and Roomba is probably the most famous out of all of them uh, for robot vacuums. And uh, yeah this is you can look up, take a look at the bottom here. Um, still kind of dirty. I did clean out a little bit of it, but it's still kind of dirty. So um, yeah, please don't mind that. Um, you can see that there is a a third kind of wheel right here, in addition to the main two wheels here, as a third wheel for turning. And then uh, this is like a little thing to sweep the uh, the dust and everything, and all the stuff it finds on the ground into the. Uh, I guess that's how it's how it does it into the vacuum bag and stuff. And these are the rollers that kind of also suck it into the 
the backing tray. And you can clean out these rollers. I think that's what this little brush is for. Uh, it's for cleaning out the rollers here. So you can, you can actually open this up. And uh, yeah, you can also, you, you, to, you have to clean out the rollers actually every once in a while because there will be like hair and stuff like that. And uh, <laughs> there was a lot of hair actually and I just try to clean some of it out, but uh, you will have to clean these out regularly. Uh, of course, you also have to empty the uh, the vacuum bin. So you just like press this little button here and then you just take it out. And I just freshly changed the filter, uh, but you do have to change out the filter uh, every few months or so. So this little blue thing right, right there is, uh, is the filter. So you do have to change that out and buy new ones, just like an air purifier, right? Uh, so yeah, otherwise you have to like empty this out after every time and that's to keep your Roomba in good maintenance and uh, have it vacuum well. So that's pretty much it. Um, it's a pretty simple product to use unless you want to get into the advanced functionality, which I don't really do. I just generally um, press clean and let it do its thing. Uh, and yeah, it's pretty much it. Um, I don't really use any of the advanced functions, but it does have advanced functions. And it's not really the top of the line robot either. There's a uh, Roomba that makes a ton of models and they have higher end models than this right now. So this is like an older model, but uh, it's the one I've been using for the past few years and I've been satisfied with it. So yeah, uh, that's the iRobot Roomba. And uh, I'll just give you guys a demonstration of it since I do have an empty place right now I want it to clean. So I'm just gonna press the button right here and let it do its job. So once I press clean, it'll just go out by itself. Right. And it'll just start cleaning by itself. All right. Let's see, it just tries to clean by itself now. So I'm just going to leave it here so you guys can see um, what the Roomba is doing. See so it automatically turn corners and stuff. It's pretty cool actually. When it comes to robot technology, you know, vacuum robots are some of the first consumer robots that were released in my experience, right? And I think this, the, the vacuum robot is the robot that everyone is generally familiar with. Like not a lot of people have robots in their house, but if they do have one, it's probably going to be a vacuuming robot. And there are other, other um, robots that do like household chores as well, but the vacuuming robot is probably the most common. And Roomba really is the pioneer of the vacuum robot. This company started it uh, pretty much, made it popular. See, it does this pathfinding. And since I have an empty place right now, I don't have to, you know, if it gets stuck somewhere, I usually have to like lift it out and, you know, press the button again to get it moving again. But since I have an empty apartment now, uh, I don't have to do that. So that's part of the reason why I saved this video until I moved out. <laughs> it's now that I have an empty apartment, I don't have to deal with it bumping into things and getting stuck. All right, it's gonna... Right here, you guys can see. I'm just gonna let it do its thing and then you guys can see how good of a job it does.
iRobot uh, Roomba returned to its charging dock by itself after it's finished cleaning. I think it did a pretty good job. Of course, it took a, a while. <laughs> That's the downside of using a Roomba, but you know, on the other flip side that uh, you don't have to manually vacuum yourself. So yeah, anyways guys, um, I think it's a useful thing to have around the house, especially if you don't want to do any manual vacuuming. But of course, I think it's better for homes that have more wider open spaces because if you have um, a lot of things in the way, then it can easily get stuck and then you'll have to like manually pick it up and then um, get it unstuck. And that's kind of annoying. So I would recommend it more for homes that have wider open spaces instead of having like crowded uh, areas. Um, if you have a house with a lot of crowded areas, then uh, a Roomba might not be the best. So that's it guys. Um, what do you guys think of the Roomba? If you guys have one, uh, let me know in the comment section below. As always, thanks for watching.